So we are now on day 12 from my January's challenge and today's workout we're back to doing another four minute hip workout and remember it is really important do always make sure that you have done a warm up first if you haven't you can just hit the pause button just march on the spot for about a minute or so just make sure you're nice and warm and then I'm ready to get going with you for today's workout and we are going to be doing for the first move we're going to go straight into doing a quite challenging move this one is a plie jump and then reach up but you've got two options so you can either follow me on the left if you want the low impact or if you want to make it harder on the right so you do a plie squat then jump up high so reach the arms up high try and land nice and softly for me it's good so remember you're just doing 20 seconds of this if you're following me on the left then just bend the knees out that's good and then just reach the hands up and notice you've got your toes pointing out to about 45 degree angle that just means we're working more through your inner thighs okay so that's the first move done your next one we're going to do a reverse lunge so what is important stand with your feet so they are wider than shoulder width distance part lunge one back leg back and then lunge that back to the other good and we're adding the arms if you want to make it harder on the right just follow me just make sure you keep that upper body nice and straight and I know some of you have been saying you find lunges hard what I'm gonna do in the link below is show you a really good alternative if you don't like doing a lunge okay so next one we're gonna do this time we're gonna go into a low squat and we're gonna do side taps so there doesn't look much difference in these from me on the left to the right, but if you're on the right, just really squat nice and low. You're gonna do 10 seconds where we're just squatting the leg out to one side and then we're gonna take it over to the other. No, we're not, we're doing 20 seconds, completely light. That's it. All right, so now we're gonna change that over and let's now take that to the opposite leg. And so the benefit here with this, we're staying in a slight squat, so we're really working through the lower body, we're working through the inner thighs, and this will still get the heart rate up because what we're doing is we're working major muscle groups, and we're also doing that lateral move. As I always say to you, it's really important to work the body in lots of different directions. Okay, that's good, and well done. Okay, so that is around one done. So let's go through all those exercises. So remember the first one, we're gonna come into a start in that wide plie squat for me. And then you've got the option, either do that jump and take the arms above the head and you land low into that um, plie squat. That's good. So I'm gonna read you the quotes while we're doing these ones today. So today's one's a really good one. Think of it like this, that you're spoiling yourself with doing a workout. What we want to do is not think of a workout as a chore, we want to think of it as an investment. It's a way that you can invest in how you look and you feel, and it's free. Let's not forget that. Okay, let's go three and take it two and one. Fantastic. Right, so now start in a wide stance for me, step one leg back. So we're going to do those backward lunges. And also, if you want to add the arm movement. And with this, what we're doing here, if you're using the arms in the position on the right, that just means you're working through your core muscles, you're working your abs a little bit harder because you're using them for stability. That's good. So you just take that foot back. And remember, the deeper you lunge, the harder it is. So if you find them too hard, you don't have to bend down as low. All right, so your next move, let's come into like a narrow squat position to start with. The lower you go, the harder this is. And we're gonna go 20 seconds on one leg where we're just stepping that out. That's good. And we're just gonna go 20 seconds, that's good. Okay, and this is a nice one. Watch out, superwoman, I'm ready to take your crown. So in other words, you are increasing your fitness, your confidence, absolutely everything. So you are gonna be stronger than superwoman. All right, let's now change and take that to the opposite leg. So it's just a tap. So you're literally staying in that half squat position and we're just extending that leg out to the side. And again here, you'll still feel this through your abs because they're working to help stabilize you as you do that movement from one side where you're taking the leg out and then just drawing it back in. Okay, and done. All right, so we now have got two minutes to go. And let's get ready again. We're gonna go straight into doing that plie squat. And the benefit here with this one is you are doing what we call a plyometric move if you're following me on the right because you're doing that jump. So what we're doing here, we're also the really good thing and the 
think especially for women to realize with this and men but what we're doing is we're strengthening your bones with these um, full body moves so this is really good to help things like osteoporosis so let's just keep going you're doing really well and you've got last seven seconds for me and jump it up high if you're following me on the right and land low four three two and one okay that's good well done so your next move coming up let's go back to those reverse lunges if you don't like doing lunges just stand straight and do single alternating leg kicks in front so this is a good one again love your body love your body enough every day that you do some sort of exercise and you eat clean okay, that's good and let's go last 10 seconds all right, well done. And let's go five and take it four. Let's go three and then two and one. All right, well done. So we're gonna get ready to do that other move. And also today, it's actually a little bit longer because we're doing 20 seconds each leg. So I've sneaked in an extra 20 seconds. So let's stay into that low squat position and just tap that foot out. And this is something that's really good. Why don't you treat yourself today to some flowers? Because, you know, every time you exercise, give yourself a little reward and some nice fresh flowers. What girl doesn't love flowers? Okay, and let's just keep that going. All right, so now change to the opposite leg for me. And remember, if you want to work harder with this, stay in a really low squat and be aware of keeping those tummy muscles pulled in really tight for me. That's good, doing really well that going and let's go five take it four and then three two and one and we're done all right so we have now got the last minute and we're gonna get ready so you can even though we've got the preview coming up you want to go straight into that move so you've got that plie jump and then reach the arms above land low and let's go for it so last time we are doing this today so give that 100% and think about you are investing in your health, your well-being, your energy. We're going to fight off any depression. We're going to increase something that's really important actually for women. After the age of 30, we're increasing the um, amount of hormone, which is known as human growth hormone. And this is where it's really good to help keep your skin nice and plump and it's good for your hair. All right, so let's now take that to that reverse lunge for me. And remember, you can have your arms extended so we're just taking that out to the side. If you're doing the one on the right, then this one here also is now working into your arms. So it's keeping that behind, so we just step that leg back. If you don't like doing lunges, just do a standing straight, just do alternating single leg kicks in front. Three, let's go two and one. All right, so let's get ready for that next move where we're just in that narrow, low squat and we're just gonna tap that foot out from one side to the other. So we just step it in and then out, in, out. That's good. Okay, well done. And let's just keep that going. Doing really well. Let's get ready for the last five seconds. Let's take it five. Let's go four, three, two, and one. All right, now let's just change, take that over to the opposite leg for me. Again, stay in that really deep squat. That's it. And again, keep those tummy muscles tight. Just think, abs pulled in as tight as you can. And let's go for it. Last 10 seconds, let's go nine, go eight, and then seven, six, five, four, and let's go three, two, and one. So I know loads of you have been liking these bonus moves, so it's an optional one, you don't have to do it, but with this one, we're just doing two standing leg kicks and just 20 seconds. You can just go for that now. If you feel like you've had enough, then you can just march on the spot and we'll do some stretches in a minute. So let's just keep going now and really kick that leg nice and high and you are officially, if you've been sticking to this challenge from day one and you're now on day 12, you are officially a fit fitness a bunny and that's a fact okay well done that is your workout complete and what I'm going to do with you now is I'm going to go through doing some stretches if you're feeling thirsty then you can always just press pause and just grab some water and then we're going to go for doing a full body stretch Okay, so well done with your training today. Let's start off by, we're gonna just work on doing those lower body stretches to start with. So let's just step one foot back. Just make sure you keep the heel down on that leg behind, lean into that stretch. So you just want to build this through the calf muscle. This is also a really good stretch to do if you find you wear high heels a lot because that muscle can get a little bit tight. 
Um, not that I do, I live in trainers. Okay, and let's now step that other leg out and again take that heel down, just feel that stretch through the calf muscle. Well done. That's good. And remember, with these workouts, let's just take that to a hamstring stretch. Hand in front on the bent leg, toes pointing up. We have now increased the amount of calories your body is gonna be burning per hour for at least another 10 hours. And it's by an approximate extra 35 calories an hour. So do your sums with that, get, get your calculator out, work that out, 10 times 35, in fact we can do it without, 350 extra calories approximately. Remember, everyone varies because of our age, weight, gender, you know, we all burn calories at a different um, rate, but that's why I said it's an approximate, and this is why you're all getting the amazing results you're doing. Okay, so let's feel that through the front of the thigh, feeling that stretch through the quadricep, and then let's just take that to the opposite leg. And make sure as well, if you can, that your standing leg, just make sure your knee is slightly bent for me, and just make sure you can feel that all running down the front of that thigh. All right, let's now take those arms behind, so lift up the chest for me, that's good. You know, but it isn't just about body shape. In fact, more importantly, it's about what's going on inside. We're making your heart stronger, your bones stronger, you know, mentally, we're making you stronger, everything. Okay, and let's now just take one arm up, ease those fingertips down in between those shoulder blades. And then let's just take that to the opposite arm, just ease that down. And really what I wanna be doing as well is really talking about self-confidence, motivation as well. That's why I'm putting all these words in the videos. So we're making it a little bit of a workout and words mix um, training session. So well done with today. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, keep Lucy squad, keep sharing, spreading the message. It's amazing, thank you, thank you. And tomorrow we are back doing a lower body toning workout. So um, I will see you tomorrow. If you've got any questions about the workout, then um, do let me know in the box below. I'm also gonna leave in the description um, some tutorials on squats and lunges, because I know a few of you have just been saying you're finding them uncomfortable on your knees. So do watch those videos if you want a little bit more guidance on that. And I'll see you tomorrow.